this is a day that tells you pretty much everything you need to know about our president, okay? This is how President Trump began his day, tweeting, of course tweeting, right, about Amarosa Manigault Newman, former assistant to the president and director of communications for the Office of Public Liaison. That was her title. And not at all coincidentally, a former reality show TV star on Donald Trump's Apprentice. Well, she was fired from the White House, her job last December, and of course is now plugging a book. The president calls her wacky, vicious, not smart, nasty. So why did he hire her? And why did he keep her in the White House for nearly a year? Simple. As the president says, quote, she only said great things about me. So there you have it. The secret to success in the Trump White House, for anybody who hadn't already guessed, is to praise the president. Contrast that to President Trump's own behavior just a few hours later at the signing ceremony at Fort Drum for a National Defense Authorization Act. He couldn't even bring himself to call the bill by its complete name, which is the John S. McCain National Defense Authorization Act for fiscal year 2019. We would not be here for today's signing ceremony without the dedicated efforts of the members of Congress who worked so hard to pass the National Defense Authorization Act. I'd like to recognize Congresswoman Elise Stefanik. I also want to thank Representatives Don Baker, Dan Donovan, and Joe Wilson, who are with us today also. There's another member of Congress here today who is not only an Air Force veteran, but the first woman ever to fly a fighter jet in combat in U.S. history. And I've gotten to know her very well, and she is terrific. Congresswoman Martha McSally. You heard there? Didn't have one single word to say about the war hero and longtime senator whose name is on the bill, Senator John McCain. He's had a lot to say about Senator John McCain in the past. The way Trump looks at it, He's at least better than everyone else in the race, beginning with John McCain. A little bit. I mean, he was captured. So and he flew combat mean, missions. Any question, which does being captured make you a hero? I don't know. I'm not sure. He hit war me. Hero. He's not a war hero. He's a war hero. He's a war Five hero. And a half years He's a war PSW hero because he was captured. I like people that weren't captured, okay? He was desperate to get my endorsement. I gave him the endorsement because he needed it for the primary. He's never heard salty language before. You know, John McCain, who has probably the dirtiest mouth in all well, of the a, Senate. You mean Senator McCain who voted against us getting good health care? John McCain was not on the list, so that was a totally unexpected thing. Terrible. Uh, honestly, terrible. It's a very sad day for the country when that vote was cast, that final vote was cast. A thumbs down. I remember it well. We were going in for a routine repeal and replace, and he went thumbs down. Not nice. Hmm. Even just a little while ago, the president couldn't resist slamming Senator McCain again. One of our wonderful senators said thumbs down at 2 o'clock in the morning. Disgraceful. President Trump slamming Senator McCain simply because he refused to vote the way the president wanted him to on health care and slamming John McCain's wartime service, even though Trump himself got a draft deferment for bone spurs in his heels. John McCain, as I said, is a war hero. He has been awarded the Silver Star, the Bronze Star, the Legion of Merit, a Purple Heart, and the Distinguished Flying Cross. This is a man who served in the Navy for 23 years, who was a prisoner of war for nearly six years in the infamous and brutal North Vietnamese prison known as Hanoi Hilton, the Hanoi Hilton. Who though, although he was crippled in the crash of his bomber, refused to be released before American prisoners who'd been held longer. Who was then tortured and kept in solitary confinement for more than two years. Who bears the scars of that experience to this very day. This is a man who was elected to the House of Representatives in 1982, the Senate in 1986, who ran for president in 2008 and famously demonstrated that there is a place for honor in American politics with this moment, a moment that's worth remembering today. I can't trust Obama. I, I, I have read about him and he's not, he's not, he's a, um, he's an Arab. He is not, 
No. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. No, ma'am. He's a, he's a, he's a decent family man, citizen that I just happen to have disagreements with on on fundamental issues, and that's what this campaign is all about. And of course, Senator McCain is in the fight of his life right now, battling brain cancer. We wish him well. Yet President Trump just could not bring himself to even mention the name of John McCain. But the senator predictably took the high road, ignoring the president's slight and saying in a statement, quote, I am humbled that my colleagues in Congress chose to designate this bill in my name. There is no higher calling than to serve a cause greater than self-interest. Through the committee's work, I've been privileged to support our men and women in uniform who have dedicated their lives to that noble cause. Wise words from a courageous man. All Americans owe him a debt of gratitude for his decades of service to this country. And again, our thoughts and prayers are with Senator John McCain. We hope that he's doing okay and his family as well.